turnovers and, and fast break points for them, but second half you were still in it. What would you see as maybe the differences down the stretch? Uh, we couldn't get stopped. They was getting out in transition, getting lives, uh, offensive rebounds. Then KCP hit a big three when we was down two. Uh, Dennis was amazing. Um, kept us in it all night. Uh, I think DeAndre Burton did a great job of guarding Braun, the opportunity Z, got a chance to guard him. Uh, we just dug ourselves too big of a hole and never really got back into it. You got to turn around and, and face these guys again. Just the way that you guys did fat battle, fight, you feel like uh, you guys have kind of a blueprint of, of what you can do next time, uh, next time uh, out? We're going to see. You know, uh, we're going to get a steady dose of AD and a steady dose of Braun all night long. So slow them down, see if we can get them next time. Any positives from these two close losses here? Nope. I think that everybody came out unscathed. So now on our way back to the city. You, you mentioned Deontay. What, what made him a, a decent option to guard LeBron? Uh, just uh, physicality, whatever. You know, like LeBron is a tough cover for anybody, but he one of them guys, if he smells fear, it's over for you. You know what I mean? So I think DB just accepted the challenge. and. Uh, just made it. I mean, Braun gonna make tough shots all night long, but you just gotta make it tough on him. Last two games, you have sat down in post defense, basically on guys like LeBron and MPG. What's your mindset in those moments as you're trying to force those guys into something they don't want to do? Nothing. <laughs> I play defense. I like defense. You know what I mean? Been playing for a long time, so nothing. Nothing new. You know this crowd well, this city well. Uh, how's the environment been the last couple nights with where these teams are at? And kind of um, how's it been? What you mean? Um, is it does it feel any different? They're both, you know, it's a unique kind of time with both them. Uh, to I was asking my friend Top Dog, who I think he got season tickets in both teams. I was asking him, does it feel different? Um, I don't know. It's always two different energies when you play against the Clippers and you play against the Lakers. I mean, the lighting's a lot different. Uh, you got your monitor on the man for the Lakers to do the intros and all that. It's just always a different energy. But, I don't know. Hey Chris, how have you uh, tried to approach the lead in this group? Just given there's a lot of young guys. Uh, you know, it's crazy. Earlier in the season, it was like a lot of talking and just trying to teach guys and show them this and that. And now it's just lead by example. You know what I mean? Especially like defensively. You know, we just try to make sure that we all being competitive defensively and, uh, you know, we'll figure the offense out. Chris, when, when, when Shea's struggling shooting the ball, what, as a young guy, what other areas are you looking to see him kind of progress on nights when he's not shooting the ball especially well? Uh, keep shooting it, keep hooping, find other ways to help the team. You know, you're not going to shoot it great every night, and that's why it's always nice when you play both ends. You can sometimes energize a team with your defense, you know, so. It's a lost start. Can you talk a little bit about your bench giving you 57 points tonight? Uh, yeah, I'm sure the bench gave us 57 because Dennis had something like 31, <laughs> 33. <laughs> Didn't he? Yeah, he had 31. Yeah, that'll help. That'll help. <laughs> you know what I mean? So maybe if I would have gave him something, we'd have a better chance.